your five-year plan is sort of dead, obsolete, because the world is constantly changing. We don't even know what's going to happen in the next six months. We don't even know what's going to happen in the next three years. We don't know what new technologies are going to come to completely disrupt the marketplace. So the leader now needs that mindset of constant change, constant evolution, constant training, constant retraining, and all of that. There's one of my favorite quotes that says from Alvin Toffler, he said, the illiterate of the 21st mm -hmm. century will not be those who cannot read and write, but mm -hmm. those who cannot unlearn, relearn, and continually learn. Interesting. And, and those uh, in the interview room that ask, you know, uh, what is your five-year plan? Uh, <laughs> should they, they, should, they should not Tell be excluded crazy. from... <laughs> No, because it's a question that's still no. asked even today. No. Yeah, they yeah, ask I agree. You, yeah, I agree. Where do you see yourself in five years? Yes. I think, well, if it's okay to still maybe have a plan, but understand that you need to be very open-minded and be willing to change as the world is changing, be willing to evolve as the world is evolving. If you have a five-year plan and you want to stick to that five-year plan, come rain, come shine, then that is not leadership. You know, you just. No, I'm, probably don't even know what you're doing. So it's important to have a plan, yeah, but understand that it, it may not turn out exactly so as it is on paper. Question? Let's just do a practical. <laughs> <you know. laughs>